In this segment, we will show you how to cut and connect non-flange ducts and fittings. Some of these components may include the blue duct components that are 6 through 18 inches in size, including straight duct, elbows, and reducers. Our clamps and gaskets for this size range come in two styles. One style, 6 through 10 inch, and a wider style for 12 through 48 inches. Here you can see our 90 degree elbow, which has a cutting guide molded directly into it, which allows you to cut any 90 degree elbow into two 45s. Here we're gonna be showing you how one person can achieve a clean, easy cut. There are lines molded on the reducer. Do not cut on these lines. These are part of the manufacturing process. To create your own guideline for the cut, Slide your clamp to roughly halfway between the lines on the reducer and tighten it down. Using the edge of the clamp as a guide, mark around the entire diameter. Then loosen and remove the clamp. Now cut. Cutting a duct is very similar to cutting the reducer or other non-flanged fittings. Determine the length of your cut on the blue duct. Slide the clamp to that point and tighten. We recommend tightening because it creates a more even cut. If you're working with another person, one can hold the clamp tight and the other can mark it. Mark a line around the entire circumference. It is very easy to cut the blue duct using a circular saw or sawzall with a wood or metal blade. A corded circular saw may work best for straight pipe cuts. A sawzall is best for other fittings since it's difficult to fit the circular saw into the curvature of the elbow or the reducer. Draw an arrow on the blue duct denoting which section is being used. This serves as a visual reminder of what side of the mark to cut on to ensure proper length. After marking, remove the clamp. Now cut the blue duct. If there is an excessive amount of tailings on any of the ducts or fittings that have been cut, remove the tailings using a utility knife. To make a non-flanged pipe connection, we will use the blue duct clamp and gasket. The clamps come in two different styles. The 6 to 10 inch style has only three stainless steel bolts to tighten. The 12 to 18 inch style has two sets of four stainless steel bolts, for a total of eight bolts per clamp. The gasket width varies based on the size of the duct it's being applied to. Each gasket is pre-cut and labeled for the appropriate duct diameter. Remove the backing from the gasket. One person will be on the left side of the horseshoe-shaped gasket that is underneath the already attached duct. Another person is needed on the right side. Using the clamp as a handle, bring the piece of pipe to be connected to the left side and set it into place. Wrap the gasket up and around the connection. Go over the entire surface of the gasket and inspect the overlapped seam. Slide the clamp over the gasket using a side-to-side -side motion. This will avoid the potential for the gasket to roll underneath the clamp. Tighten the clamp until the stainless steel inserts begin to deflect. You should not be able to fit a flathead screwdriver between the clamp and gasket. 